My name is Julia, and I like to talk about fragrance on here. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you along. Um, before we get started, though, I would like to let you all know that I've actually created a brand new Instagram um, account called Julia Graph Photo, and I'm going to be posting more on there as well as stories and all that kind of stuff. So if you are still currently following my old account, please go head over to the new account on Instagram and follow me there because I'm just like starting out. I think I have like 1500 followers. It's like <laughs> baby steps. So I would love to have you follow the new account. Okay guys, so today this is gonna be kind of a mixed bag of content because I have so much to talk about. I posted a haul video and I was going through, I've just got my phone here because I actually just was looking up when I actually placed that order, my last order of like fragrance that I purchased, like full bottle purchases that I've made the 9th of February. There were blind buys. So I purchased three new bottles on that last haul. If you haven't gone to go see that, like I will link it right now. You can see what I purchased. One of them was really a, a win. I loved it. It's the Terry Mugler Taste of Fragrance one and I really enjoy that. I'm really glad I got it. So that was good. But the other two that I purchased, I wasn't honestly thrilled with my purchases. So one of the ones I bought was this one, the Nina Ricci Premier Premier Jour. And I bought this fragrance because it's basically like a nostalgic fragrance. I used to wear this uh, when this first came out, like in the, or I think it was like early 2000s. And I do enjoy it. You can see, I actually bought the 100 milliliter and you can actually see how much I've used. There is almost, almost half is gone. But it's like this really crisp, airy floral that I think is perfect for spring and I have really been wearing it. The longevity and the sillage on this is like really, really poor. I think maybe that's why I've gone through so much of it because when I wear this, I put on a ton to really be able to smell it. So it wasn't a total fail buy, but I don't think I will be rebuying it. And then the other purchase that I made in that video was this one by Calvin Klein. This is the Euphoria Amber Gold. And this was a release for the Middle East. It's a flanker of the original Euphoria. And I actually don't own Euphoria. And I stumbled upon this fragrance simply through reading the notes on Fragrantica, reading the reviews. And it sounded like something I would really enjoy. Like there's this really strong honey note in here. There's amber and there's all these sort of um, oriental spices in here and I thought it would be something that I really enjoy. It's kind of a scrubber for me. It's one of those fragrances that when you wear it, you have to go wash it off because you can't, you honestly can't stand the smell. And I was so disappointed with this. It's a very, very strong fragrance and it really reminds me of something older, something like, it kind of reminds me of CK Obsession in a way, but not in a positive way. It kind of reminds me of a fragrance that would have come out in early 90s, something like that. It smells almost dated, even though this came out, I think 2018, so it isn't a super old release, but it smells very dated and it, it almost smells like something like an older man would wear. It's just too much for me. It, it's just too much, it's like overwhelming. I feel like this is one of those fragrances that I feel like the fragrance is wearing me instead of me wearing the fragrance. I was really disappointed with this and this wasn't even that cheap. So I honestly feel like I just really, really wasted my money with that. You know, I could have gotten for that price one bottle that I actually really, really enjoy if I had maybe just taken my time a bit more and if I haven't gone out to just blind buy stuff. Then I kind of just had this moment and I was like, what am I doing? I've been just buying a lot and I know a lot of people have been doing that with um, COVID and you know, we were in a really long lockdown starting from December here in Switzerland, like I live in Switzerland and from December on until early March, everything was closed, all the stores were closed. So we couldn't actually go out and smell any of these scents. Um, I mean, this one I wouldn't have been able to smell anyway because they don't have it in the store here. You know, I couldn't go out and smell the fragrances for, for purchasing. So I was kind of just relying on reviews and stuff like that. Yeah, I just had this moment where I was kind of realizing that I was going out and purchasing stuff and I wasn't really taking my time. And just before that recently, I purchased Porpora by um, Tiziana Terenzi, which I actually really enjoy. And I think that was a successful blind buy. I wear that fragrance and I really do enjoy it. Just taking a step back and reevaluating everything because I don't want to be one of those people that owns hundreds of bottles of fragrance. I just, I don't want to be 
in that level of perfume collection. So if I um, log onto my Perfumo account, I actually created an account on Perfumo to keep track of my collection. I know some people use Fragrantic or, or something to do that. I actually use the Perfumo app. And I one time sat down and basically logged all my full bottles, all my decants and all my miniatures. So I have 66 full bottles of perfume. So those are not including like samples and miniatures. I have 66 full bottles. I have some decants and then I have 24 miniatures or decants. Some of them are miniatures and some of them are decants. Not all of those I have purchased. Some of those were gifted. Some of those were gifted a long time ago um, when I was, you know, still much more active in sort of the makeup and beauty um, field. I would get sent perfume quite a bit, even though back then I wasn't really making perfume videos a whole lot, but um, I would be sent quite a lot of perfumes. I ended up decluttering a lot of those fragrances because I'd often get sent fragrances that I just didn't enjoy like they weren't fragrances that I would have personally gone out to purchase so I actually didn't keep most of them um, I did keep a few here and there like the ones that I actually enjoy and they're still in my collection so anyways it just kind of made me reevaluate re everything um, making those couple couple of blind buys that just weren't super successful because I don't like I don't want to own hundreds of bottles of perfume I really want to be able to use my whole collection and be able to have dents in my collection and really feel like I'm actually using the fragrance and I don't want to have just a bunch of perfumes on my shelf that I'm just not really using and then just look almost full like I, I'm not here to have the biggest collection ever you know if you're not familiar I have a beauty channel and I'm not super active there anymore on my beauty channel because my interests have just, just changed I had a giant makeup collection I mean I was sent a lot of stuff and I would purchase a lot of stuff I basically have a whole room now where this is like where I film in my studio and stuff and I still have tons of makeup but like the last few months I have taken the time to declutter most of it. I think I got rid of about 70% of my entire makeup collection and I'm still not done. There's still stuff that I want to get rid of. I don't want to have this huge fragrance collection now because I don't want to have a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, a few years ago, I kind of started this sort of more minimalist journey. I don't go shopping a ton. You know, I don't, I stop buying tons of clothes like this sweater that I'm wearing right now is I think from three seasons ago. These earrings are also like two or three years old. I like to spend my money more on experiences and traveling or really good food or stuff like that. Things that also give me enjoyment but isn't just objects, isn't just material things. When I started getting into fragrance, obviously it brought me joy and it still does bring me joy but I would I bought a lot of fragrance right at the get-go. 66 bottles of fragrance, which is way more <laughs> than the average person, you know, needs. You don't really need that many. But I don't want to have hundreds of bottles of perfume. I just don't. I'm going to be a lot more careful of what I purchase and sort of blind buying. I'm kind of thinking I should... I mean, it's, it's impossible to say that I'll stop it altogether because some fragrances I might have to blind buy because I can't, like, get them in the store. It's really hard here in Switzerland to buy samples. You know, if you're living in the States, there are all these websites like Lucky Scent or I don't know, there's so many of them. Websites that sell little decants or that sell samples and you can easily get them shipped for like very inexpensive. You can get them shipped to your house and stuff. Here in Switzerland, that doesn't exist yet. There isn't any website that I know of that sells samples. I'm not gonna like go trolling through a Facebook group and spend hours like trying to find a person who might have a sample who might want to sell it. And I've noticed like the decants that I have bought, I tend to not reach for them. So I have decants like in where I store my perfume, I have little like little vials where I have my decants and I have samples and I just rarely reach for them. I usually just grab my full size bottles. Like I don't really go through and be like, oh, I'm going to wear this sample today. I just, I just don't do that unless I'm specifically going to test a fragrance like with the intent to maybe purchase it, then I will go and sample it. Like what I did for, for example, what I did for the Aldo, the um, Etat Libre d'Orange, like I bought a sample set or I bought a few samples and I actually liked one of them enough to buy, but then I don't go back and like really wear the samples anymore. You know what I mean? I really love niche fragrances and I would love to be able to purchase more of them. And I'd rather, honestly, I would rather just buy like 
one or two really good niche fragrances instead of buying like five or six designers for the same price. Where I live, it's really hard for me to get access to niche and I'm not gonna just blind buy niche fragrances because they're really expensive and it just seems too risky for me. So then I, the option I have is to either like <laughs> go to Zurich, which is not really around the corner for me, or to, yeah, buy samples and stuff. And I have looked into, like there's been some brands that I've been really interested in. And then I go on the website and I like put on the sample pack and stuff. And then I put in shipping costs to Switzerland and then even I'll have to pay import duties here. So then I've spent like, 70 euros or something on a sample pack that's not really worth it to me like that's just really not worth it to me like i'd rather spend 70 euros or whatever it would be on either a full bottle or to do something else with my money entirely so that's why i haven't really been doing the sampling thing as much because there isn't it's just there isn't any sampling websites here in switzerland and so always having to order from abroad and having to pay shipping and then having to pay import duties. It's just like, it's just a really big hassle to me, honest. There comes a point where I'm thinking like, you know, should I just have done something better with my money? Like that money can go towards paying off the mortgage or can go towards, I don't know, like investment. Like yesterday I went to Bern. There is um, a department store there called Globus where they do have a select range of niche perfumery. And I mean, they have like all the designer stuff is no problem to find, but like niche stuff, they have a small selection of it. And I went to just sniff a few things that had come out. Like I was really interested in the new Serge Loutens that had come out, the um, La Danteuse Encagée. And there were a few other um, things I was interested in. I really wanted to smell some of the BDK stuff and they actually had it. And also just a few other things I wanted to like sniff. I actually ended up coming home with nothing because I, just wasn't 100% um, convinced with any of them. Yeah, it just like, I just started to kind of reevaluating what I'm buying and only really bringing in fragrances that I really, really want to add to my collection permanently. Because the other thing that I've noticed is that it's really hard to sell fragrances here in Switzerland. So I have tried to sell a few fragrances here and I honestly have not had any luck selling them. Like I wanted to sell this because honestly I sprayed it like once or twice and that's it. Like I really, it's basically full, it's a hundred milliliter and I have not been able to sell this. And it wasn't like too high a price. I put it on as like half price of what I paid. I pay, like half as much as I paid for this, I put it on and nobody wants to buy it. And I've tried to list it on like Facebook marketplace and we have a few other buy and sell websites here. So I've tried to list them on all of them and it's just like, I don't get any responses. Maybe because it's also not a fragrance that people are searching for. I've started just to think like every new bottle that I add to collect to my collection is something that I probably won't be able to resell. With that in mind, if I know I won't be probably able to recoup the loss if I blind buy something and end up not liking it. It's just made me a lot more careful. Now that the stores are open again here in Switzerland, like we, we've been able to have the retail stores open again. So as if I can go and smell the fragrances ahead, I will definitely do that. Like I'm not gonna just randomly blind buy fragrance just cause I'm too lazy to go in a store and smell it. Like if I can smell it, I will try and do that. There've been a few fragrances that I wanted to blind buy, but I didn't. And now I'm really glad I didn't buy them. So I'm thinking of actually filming a video of like fragrances I almost bought but didn't, which ones maybe are still on my wish list and which ones I'm like glad I didn't buy because I now I kind of changed my mind on them. So as, let me know if you want to see a video like that. Yeah, it's something to think about. Like the more you get into, it doesn't even matter what it is. If it's like, obviously here we're talking about fragrance, but as soon as you get into a hobby, you start to get really sort of obsessed with it. You always start to want the new stuff like as soon as you've made a purchase at least with me as soon as i made a purchase i enjoyed it but i'd already be looking for the next thrill i'd be looking for the next bottle and being like okay what else do i need <laughs> you know so i wouldn't give myself the actual time to enjoy the things that I purchased and I would already be like on for Grantica researching new things or like watching YouTube videos. And um, I kind of took a break from watching as many fragrance videos as I used to because it was really triggering to me. 
it really made me want to buy more. I kind of want to let you guys know that it's okay to like not have huge collections. And if you're watching a lot of fragrance videos that are just sucking you into buying a lot of stuff, and it kind of almost, it's kind of almost like a turnoff. Like if I see titles now that are like, huge luxury haul, 10 new bottles added to my collection. Like I'm not saying other people can't do what they want because it's everybody's prerogative to spend their money how they wish, but I almost don't want to click on those videos anymore. How many bottles of perfume do you really need um, to enjoy perfume? You don't need to have like two or 300 bottles, you know, like at least for me, everyone's different. I try to <laughs> stay away from those kind of videos where it's like huge hauls. I try to watch more sort of comparison videos, like maybe comparing a few scents. I actually ended up using up a whole bottle of perfume and that rarely happens. So I thought I would share the joyous news. Look, I have used up a whole 100 milliliter of one of my Elizabeth Arden's. It's the green tea tropical. It's completely empty. So it's 100 mil, I'm really proud of that. I don't remember the last time I've finished a whole bottle of fragrance and especially a 100 milliliter. I have a whole video actually about the Elizabeth Arden green teas and I used to wear these a ton for going to the gym. Now our gyms are currently closed due to COVID so I'm not really reaching for these. Since I was already on these like buy and sell websites here in Switzerland, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a look and see because I actually never really did that. I would always, if I was wanting to buy a new fragrance, I would just go onto a discounter here and just put that in. You know, I would never really look at um, used bottles. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to see what there is. And there's actually so many fragrances here that you can buy um, secondhand. And I don't really have a problem with it. The only thing is that um, what I found is that here, especially like, our buy and sell websites are really shit. So you know how in eBay, they'll have a review system, like they'll have a rating system. So if you buy, if you're a seller and you buy things, like people can review, review you as a seller. So our buy and sell websites in Switzerland for some reason don't have that. So basically each time you're, pur you're purchasing from some totally random person, um, you don't know how long that person has been active on the platform. You don't know if they are trustworthy or whatever. Like, I don't know why they don't have this rating system. So each time it's like a total risk of who you're buying from. And also the website doesn't take any sort of liability if, you know, if you get cheated or anything like that. I actually did manage to buy one really cool thing on there. I bought two things. So I'll talk about the first one. So I loved Your Addict. I did a whole video about this and this is the new version. The, um, I think that the latest release was like 2014, I think. I did a whole video about this and it's honestly one of my favorites. It's, this is a 50 ml and I'm already used like two thirds of it up. So I love this. So I thought I would try and track down one of the older versions and I found this one. So this is the old version of Addict. Um, so they have three versions, the very first one, then this is the second version and this is the new one. So you can see how they look different. Now these are both the 50 milliliter bottles and this is the second release. It's more stumpy. You can see this one is more like sleek and long and tall and this one is a bit more fatter and stumpy here. <laughs> it's the easiest way to describe it. This one is actually a gold um, band here and the sprayer is inside the top. So here the sprayer is, you, you actually take this off. It's like a lid. So this is like a lid on the new one. So the old one, this is already the lid and you don't take it off because the sprayer is like built in there. So it is an authentic bottle and I actually looked up the batch code. I haven't really been able to track down an affordable bottle of the very original one. And I think it's getting really hard to find those. The lady who was selling this, she didn't, I don't think like, that's the thing if you buy on these buy and sell websites, it's not, um, a website just dedicated to perfume. So some of these people have really absolutely no idea what they're selling. <laughs> so she was selling this for like a really good price because honestly, if I were to resell this on um, eBay, I could get way more for it than what I paid um, because I know a lot of people are actually collecting this. This is a 50 ml and there's barely any use. The other thing that I purchased um, on that, those buy and sell websites is a little 30 ml bottle of Gucci Bloom. This is a floral tuberose and jasmine. It's like a white floral. I really enjoy this. I thought this would be perfect for spring because it's like this perfect blend of jasmine and tuberose. You know, I was like, oh, 30 ml, like that'll last me a while. So I purchased this from a buy and sell website here in Switzerland. The shipping was like fast, you know, but this person cheated me because it's basically, it's empty because it's like a solid 
you know, casing, you can't actually see what's in. It sounds empty. I can't hear any liquid splashing around. There's no way for me to open this up. I've tried to like open it because I thought maybe the sprayer is like broken. So I went and cleaned the nozzle because you can just take the nozzle off and I tried to clean it. I thought maybe the nozzle is just like plugged up. So I tried that, that didn't work. I also tried like a little decant thing here and tried to get some of it out with, I have like a little Travelo spray and I thought maybe this is broken. So I tried to pump it, just get that, but nothing is coming out. When I originally got it, I like a little bit did come out when I sprayed it, but it seems like it seemed like the last dregs. You know, when you have a perfume and then you spray it, like even with this one, that's what it's, yeah, that's exactly what it sounds. This is exactly what it got. You can see there's like a tiny, like little few drops left. So when I spray it, it's like a little bit comes out. And I honestly think that's what this is. Honestly, like who does that? Now I have like no recourse to get my money back because like I said, there's no like rating system. So I can't even leave her a bad review. I learned my lesson. I am never going to buy used fragrances that come in a bottle like this because you can't see how much is inside. I didn't lose a ton of money. That's the thing. If I'd spent a lot of money, I'd be really pissed off, but I didn't spend like a ton, but it's just the principle because it just makes me very hesitant to go onto these websites and buy stuff. And especially if you then can't, you know, you can't get your money back and you can't, um, you can't even leave them a bad review. Like it's just a risk each time here. But I have to say, I actually really enjoyed it. The few little tiny spritzes that came out, like, I really did enjoy it. So I think I'm going to buy a full bottle of this because it is a really lovely fragrance. It's very spring-like. All right, so that's what's been going on in my little perfume journey. Um, I just want to remind you guys to be mindful of how you're spending mo your money, especially if you are getting sucked into fragrances or makeup or whatever it is, like whatever it hobby interests you. If it's really adding worth and benefit to your life, because I, I was kind of just going a little bit too, like too crazy, I will be doing more hauls, but I'm gonna be much more selective about what I bring into my collection if I can and not being like, I mean, something like this, like going on for Grantica, researching notes and then just like going and blindly buying a fragrance like that is so stupid like i don't know why i did that this sounds really counterproductive but i do actually have something coming to my way but it is um something that i have wanting been wanting to buy for about half a year and i actually went back to it a few times like i went back in the store and every time i would go back in the store i would like try it on again and like put it on again and be like oh yeah, i really like this and really liked it and i think the third time i did that i was like okay you know what i keep coming back to this and i still really enjoy it so i'm going to buy a bottle of it let me know if you are interested in specific reviews on things and also like what you think about this whole topic like have you been spending more money during corona time or covid lockdowns um have you been doing more online shopping do let me know in the comments comments and um, I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Please follow my new Instagram and I will see you soon. Bye.